Hey, and welcome to this tutorial on the c -sharp modular operator. In this video, I will show you what the modular operator is doing, how it works, and we'll also take a look at some examples that help you understand it better. So, let's get started. What is the modular operator? So, first of all, the modular operator, as you can see it right here, is represented by a percentage sign. Now, it is also known as the remainder operator, which is a better name from my side of view, because it returns the remainder of the division of two numbers. So, here we got two integers, 10 and 5. Now, just to note that, the modular operator works on both integers and floating point numbers, right? So, here we got two integers, 10 and 5. And if we now divide 10 by 5, the result will be 2, because 2 times 5 is 10. And there is no remainder. So if we start our application right now, we can see that the remainder is 0, because we were able to put 5 2 times into our 10, and there is no remainder left. Now, if we change that, just to show you an example, we could simply say that number 1 is 11. Now, how many times? Can we put the 5 into the 11? Well, we can do it one time, then we have 5, 11, and we can do it another time, which is then 10 and 11, and we cannot add it a third time to it, then we would have 15 of 11. So let's just see how much it's left. So we put the 5 two times into the 11, so we have 10 of 11, and 1 is left, so the remainder, what is left, is 1. Awesome. Now let me tell you when to use the modular operator in real-world scenarios. Before we get to that, please check out our c -sharp Progress Academy, which is a self-paced online course that teaches you advanced c -sharp, ASP.NET, Angular, unit testing and even c -sharp software design patterns to massively boost your c -sharp coding skills. Now we offer a 14-day money-back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest and most affordable way on how you can progress as a c -sharp developer. So please go ahead, you can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and smash the like button and the subscribe button right now so that you no longer miss any of our upcoming c -sharp and .NET related videos. Now, when we come to reword scenarios, one very common scenario for a lot of algorithms would be to check if a number is even or odd. So we could say, if we have an integer here, for example, integer, let's give it any kind of name, let's give it a value which is 10, for example, and we write an if statement, if num, and we now want to find out if it's even or odd, we could say if modulo 2 equals to 0, then it would be even, and in every other case it for sure would be odd, because that's how you define if a number is even or odd. You simply check if you have a remainder, so if the remainder is not zero, if you divide the number by two. And as I said, you will see a lot of algorithms out there which are using exactly this. But for sure we can adjust it to not only check if it's even or odd, but also divisible by a specific number. So let's just remove even or odd right here. Now, if we want to know if 10 is divisible by three, for example, then we could also check like if the remainder is zero. Now, if the remainder is zero, 10 would be divisible by three, but for sure we will have a remainder, right? So it's not, but if we change it to nine, then yes, it would be divisible, even though nine is not an even number, right? Nine is odd, but it's divisible by three because three times three is nine and there is no remainder. Awesome. So that's it for this video on the modular operator or just keep it in mind, the remainder operator. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our C-Shop Progress Academy. And I'd be happy to see you back in the next video. 